Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Wine Rookie. I'm your Wine Rookie host, Paul, and today we are opening up a Beaujolais Nouveau wine. Beaujolais Nouveau wines only come out once a year, and that's on the third Thursday of every November. So this one was just released on the 17th. Uh, France has uh, lots of huge parties to celebrate this release. They call it Nouveau Day. Uh, this wine is uh, pretty heavily controlled by the French government, and any winemaker that is participating in making Beaujolais Nouveaux must handpick the Gamay grapes that go into this wine. The only other wine that the French government actually controls being handpicked is Champagne. So this and Champagne have that in common. Um, this is the George de Boeuf Beaujolais Nouveau. Um, another fun fact about Beaujolais Nouveaux is they have to go through a process called carbonic maceration. And that means that the grapes are fermented in carb carbon dioxide rich containers, uh, fully intact. And that's going to mellow out the natural acidity of Gamay grapes, uh, as well as keep the tannins low, which is gonna make this a quite approachable wine for many people to drink. Uh, it pretty much goes with any food pairing and pairs extremely well with turkey. Uh, so celebrating Thanksgiving around the corner, this is gonna be a great pairing if you can pick up a Beaujolais Nouveau. Let's go ahead and try George DeBoeuf's Beaujolais Nouveau and see what we think. Let's open it up. All right, guys, we got the Beaujolais Nouveau poured out, and we're going to go ahead and take a closer look. Uh, first, the color. Uh, in the glass, it's a nice, it's a medium purple with a ruby rim around it. Looks great. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what the bouquet's like. Very fresh red fruits here. I'm getting strawberries, pomegranate. There's some floral and herbal components, too. Um, I'm getting violet and clove. Let's go ahead and take a taste. That's what we're all here for is what's the Beaujolais, Beaujolais Nouveau taste like. Just how I expected. Um, this is a very new wine and has basically no age to it. The grapes were picked weeks ago. Um, and through the fermentation process they go through, uh, they're supposed to mellow out some of the acidity, but again, this is really fresh, um, and still a very acidic wine. Gamay grapes are known for their acidity and, uh, it shows here. So my mouth is just watering from that. Uh, the first note that comes to mind on the, the palate is sour cherries. The strawberries come through as well, um, and it's like an underwhelming, unripened strawberry. You get that batch of really ripe ones every once in a while, you get an underripe strawberry, and that's what's hitting here. Uh, very fruit forward on the palate. I also get a little black tea on the finish, which is classic from uh, Gimme Wines. Uh, we usually, when you get one that's been aged for a while, the classic thing is it tastes like fruit punch and black tea. And this still has the black tea notes, much less on the fruit punch, but still very sour. Um, again, guys, uh, Beaujolais Nouveaux pair with pretty much any food you're looking for. Um, it falling so close to Thanksgiving time, uh, it's going to pair great with your turkey. Pick one up and try it out. It pairs with pretty much any cheese you're going to do as well. Soft cheeses like brie, it's going to pair with a gruyere or a comte as well. That nuttiness is going to pair great with the fruit forwardness of this wine. And then uh, try like a chevre as well to finish off your cheese board. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.